Traumatic Brain Injury, A Silent Epidemic by Mr. Jared Tanner Approximately every 15 seconds, someone in America suffers a traumatic brain injury, or TBI. There are about 1.5 million new brain injuries each year. Most of these are mild concussions, which can have lasting cognitive effects, but many are much more severe. Almost 50,000 Americans die each year as a result of brain injuries. In fact, it is the leading cause of death in Americans under the age of 45. There are three times as many deaths resulting from brain injuries each year than as a result of AIDS in the US. There are more TBIs each year than new cases of all types of cancer combined. Granted, cancer tends to be more lethal with roughly 500,000 deaths per year in comparison to 50,000 from TBI, but TBIs are still very serious. TBIs have received relatively little attention, especially compared to the widespread campaigns raising awareness for diseases like breast cancer or HIV AIDS. Some people have started calling TBIs a silent epidemic. Traumatic brain injuries affect all ages, but children under the age of 4 are most likely to sustain TBI. There is another peak between ages 14 and 19, as well as at ages greater than 75. Males are also more likely to sustain TBIs than females are, due to the fact that males engage in high-risk behaviour more often and have a more successful suicide attempt rate than females do. Many of these suicides result from gunshot wounds to the head. Most TBIs result from transportation-related injuries, such as automobile accidents, motorcycle accidents and so forth. However, about 25% result from falls. The very young and the very old are at the most risk of falling. It is also estimated that 50% of TBIs involve alcohol. There are two main types of TBI, closed head injuries, for example hitting your head in a windshield, and penetrating head injuries, such as a gunshot wound. In closed head injuries, there is coup damage, which is brain damage done at the site of impact, and counter coup damage, which is the damage on the other side of the brain resulting from the brain gaining momentum from the impact. There is also diffused axonal injury, damage done to the axons or connections of the neurons in the brain. The severity of traumatic brain injuries is often assessed using the Vasco Coma Scale, with scores ranging from 3 to 15. The higher the score, the milder the injury. TBIs can result in a variety of physical and cognitive symptoms, including movement difficulties, talking difficulties, seizures, brief to severe memory loss, and impairment of attention, planning, information processing, and language. It can also result in personality and mood changes. A loss of sense of smell and taste is also very common. Even mild concussions, which are traumatic brain injuries, can result in usually subtle but lasting impairments. When there is recovery, it is often slow and painful. Traumatic brain injuries occur at alarming rates in the United States and around the world, but usually receive very little media or political attention. This is largely because TBIs usually are results of accidents or crime, such as assault and abuse, unlike cancer or heart disease. However, TBIs affect millions of Americans, killing 50,000 each year. Many of those who survive go on disability, often permanently. Families and friends are also affected. TBIs can be devastating. They truly are a silent epidemic.